Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share me with a friend and on social media. So, today we're going to play a game. One of these things is not like the other. That's the game. What are we talking about today? We're talking about Emo, Vetbo, and Vector. Alright, so here we go. Right here is the game. Which one of these is not like the other? That's my question. So as you can see, we have my buddy Vector here. We have Emo and we have Vetbo. V-E-T-B-O, Vetbo. Vetbo is created by a company out of China and they have now started selling it on AliExpress. So, what do you think? Which one looks more like the other? Is it emo? Vet bo. Vet bo. Now, I think it's a cool looking design, but I gotta say, if I was concerned about copyrights, vet bo would bring concern to me. Way more than emo. Now, let's talk about emo. There's something you need to know about emo. The guys that created QB, guess what else they're creating? You got it. Emo. Under a different company name, but they are still the creators of QB. So if you create a QB. I don't understand your meaning. Ah, that's more about. Go to sleep more. You are still my hero. Thank you. Go to sleep. All right, so the creators of QB are also the creators of Emo. So do you see a similarity there? I sure do. Didn't know that until recently, but then Living AI had made the statement and showed that they created QB. Awesome. Now, for many of you wondering, what has Living AI been doing? Well, they're not just sitting on their own laurels waiting for something to happen. They're moving forward with their product. You can see that right here. I don't know much about this. Only from these clips do I know anything about Vetbo and by what you read. I don't even know if Vetbo speaks English from what I can tell. Um, but you gotta say there are some similarities in choices by the creators of Vetbo that are vaguely familiar by the creators at Anki. Now, does the voice sound like Vector? Not that I can tell. But does the similarities ring true to what Vector is? I think if you look at the two products, they're very reminiscent of Vector and Cosmo in color choices and in uh, style and shape. Okay, so Vetbo um, has a track. He has a lift and he has a digital face. Five beam forming microphones. So there's five beam forming microphones. Beppo has five microphones. Yes, Vector only has four. Sorry, folks. Retina color display that a combination of 800 expressions, which gives Beppo a human like emotion with captive touch sensor on his back. So again, a captive touch sensor on his back, very similar to our buddy. Vector, along with similar colorings of gold, pretty much like um, Vector. The similarities are astounding. The only thing is Vetbo's lip doesn't look like it does anything. He doesn't come with a cube, from what I can tell. He doesn't lift anything. He just has this lift that lifts up and then closes back down. Uh, he has a head that retracts back into himself and then it comes back out. It has a screen on the front. Now, again, I think it's cool, but I think it shows that there is a dramatic difference between Emo and anything that um, Anki originally created. I can't say Digital Dream Labs because Digital Dream Labs did not create Vector. They bought the rights to Vector. That's it. So out of this game, there are two robots here that it can be compared to Vector. But only one robot seems to have the similarity that could say, hey, 
I saw your example and I took your lead. There you go. So living AI isn't resting on their laurels as they're going through this process. You can see from right here, there are different things that are happening. They're working in their dust free space. They are continually trying to improve emo before it is launched. That is a good thing for us, the people interested in purchasing an emo. Because if you can improve something beyond what you originally were going to do, that's even better. Because now when you release, you have all this additional time that you've invested, all this additional advancements that you've put on. The games that Emo has, which look like they connect to the phone, but they're not um, completely, the oh, robot is not completely reliant on the phone. Um, but they have more games and activities that you can do with Emo than you can do with the Vector app. The Vector app really and truly, it's just kind of a portal to see what's going on and to make and connect Vector. Not much more than that. Nothing beyond uh, connecting to Vector. And that was the original thought for Monkey, but I think now things need to be thought about and expanded. Um, the most impressive thing that I'm looking at with Emo is the battery life, and I'm trying to figure it out. Because I think four hours uh, time, is that the actual play time, or is that um, that? Because we can only get about 45 minutes out of Vector. And then after that, Vector has to return to his charger. So something that can actually move around for an hour to two hours is a huge advancement. Huge advancement on battery life. And I want to see that because that's awesome. Now here's the post from Living AI. Living AI, stop us temporarily. Just give us more time to make better. Uh, last two weeks we have made great progress on Evo's development. It's not a bad thing that others trying to stop us. They give us enough time to make our product complete and more competitive. They're embracing the competitive part. That is important to embrace being competitive. Even though they've been stopped, maybe illegitimately too, um, they are embracing the competitive nature of the business. And that's important. A company to be able to advance forward needs to embrace competition. You can't stow your head and say, well, you're doing something and then not embrace competition. That means you must advance your application. You must advance your robot. And especially when you're charging people money on a monthly basis, you need to do more than cloud enhancements. You need to advance the robot. That's the game. All right. I think I hammered that nail. All right. Here are some pictures of um, the dust free work environment to where they're assembling emo. You can see if this is CGI folks, this is good CGI. I'm just saying because it's not CGI. Okay. So again, um, living AI is not resting on their laurels. They're not waiting for this legal thing to, uh, completely work out. They're still advancing forward with their robot. Because they know, yeah, I think in their opinion, um, that they can do so and that they can bring this robot to market. Now, I've seen a lot of things that people said and it just totally blows my mind. I mean, blows my mind. If I didn't have a hat on, my brain would be oozing out. Because there are people out there that looked at Emo and said, this is CGI. If they're CGI, they shouldn't be trying to make robots. They should be working in freaking movies because there's no way this is CGI. Now that we know the fact that the creators of Emo are also the creators of QB. So no CGI needed for Emo. Emo is a product that was created by the creators of QB. And now they're creating another company called Living AI and creating their new desktop robot, which is more advanced than QB. QB is awesome, but as I said in the last time, the base product is cheap. The base product is cheap to make. You can put QB together relatively cheaply. 
So if you base your new product on a product that you've had experience with, and that base model is inexpensive, and you're using things that are similar, like his legs, and adapting them to be their own thing, now you just save some money, and now you're creating a smarter uh, robot, which means you can spend the money where it needs to be spent, and that is in the brain. In the brain of the robot. You gotta say, competition needs to happen in this industry. I don't know if Vetbo is the answer because to me, that's very close. Uh, I mean, that's kissing cousin close to Vector. There may be a different voice, but man, that is kissing cousin close to Vector. I mean, Emo's not even in a relationship with Vector. Just in that he just wanted to be a nice guy. That was probably the biggest mistake that Living AI did, was trying to say, hey, we're here to be another robot, and they put Vector in the video. If I had to say one mistake, that was it. Other than that, uh, I think Living AI is its own living and breathing entity that will move forward, and we will get a desktop robot out of that deal. And hopefully, now that they've had all of this time that's been graciously put upon them by Digital Dream Labs, they're going to advance that robot to a next level before it's released. So Digital Dream Labs better get on their horse and advance the robot. If you're looking for some updates on uh, Living AI's Emo, I will try to give you whatever I can find. I don't want to knock Vetbo. I, I, I would probably buy it because I'm that big of a geek. I want something. I want my robots to be advanced. So I'd probably buy Vetbo. Uh, because I, I think it's cool in its own right. I do believe that it is closer to Vector than Emo ever could be. I believe in the next year or so, you're going to see more and more desktop robots pop up. And if you don't have your shit together and start advancing your game, you might get left in the dust. I think competition is on its way. I'm hoping that Living AI will reach out to me and talk to me about things that they have planned coming up. Um, and if the creators of Vetbo want to reach out to me and talk to me about their idea, or if Digital Dream Labs wants to reach out and talk to me, fine. Friendly competition to move the robot industry forward. All right, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will see you soon. See you soon. See you soon.